Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Leo and this is Dr. Singh from, we're from Ready Care Physical Therapy and today we're here to talk about cramping and why we get cramps and how to prevent it from happening. So um, let's start with a few common questions that we have. So Dr. Singh, what is the, what is the most common way people get cramps? Uh, usually after uh, exercise, like if they do the exercise for the first time and they have the cramp. Okay. And Second thing, if they're not drinking enough water, okay. they can, can, they're going to get the cramp or they have some like other muscle issues leading to the cramps. Uh, would you mind telling them why, why drinking water is essential in preventing cramps? Because hydration is necessary. It was one of the necessary methods that you, we can keep our electrolyte in the body all balanced up. Once these electrolytes are imbalanced, that can lead to the cramp. Like it's no, it's all your sodium potassium levels that leads to all the cramp. Okay. So, so we need to hydrate our body fluids with the water and all. That's why hydration is important. Uh, so a patient comes to you with cramping in the calves. What do you what do you do for them? What can physical therapy do for them? Physical therapy mainly aims on the improving the flexibility of the muscle mm -hmm. or make warming up and cooling down the muscle. So what I suggest to my most of the patient. Start with the warm up period for the exercise, and after you're done with the exercise, go for the cool down period. This is the best way you can you can prevent the cramps. Another thing, always stretch before you engage in any kind of activity or exercise. So there's going to be three main stretches that are important. That's all related to your leg because most of the time we get the cramps in our lower extremity, and these muscle stre stretches that we're going to do is hamstring, quadricep, and calf. Okay. So the uh, first one is the I'm going, to show, I'm going to show you guys the calf stretches, okay? So for the calf stretches, you want to find a furniture like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your foot up like that. Keep this knee straight and just gently lean forward. And if you're doing it right, you should feel stretches in this area, okay? So you're going to hold it for about 30 seconds. And once the 30 seconds up, you're going to switch to the other leg and hold for another 30 seconds and you're gonna you want to repeat it about three times and let's say if you can't if you can't stand or you have balance problem what we can do is get a towel or get a strap like this put it around your put it around your foot ball of the foot and then just pull gently okay the same thing you're gonna hold it for 30 seconds and you should feel it right here okay so the next one I'm going to show you is for the hamstring. So if you have if you have enough balance, or you can just go right into it, this position and just reach for your toes. And if you're doing it right, you should feel the pull right here. And if you don't have balance or if you have a strap, what you can do is put it around the ball of your foot and just bring it up until you feel the stretch in the hamstring. So you're gonna do this. You're gonna, for all stretches, you want to hold about 30 seconds and repeat it about three times. Uh, the next one is the quad stretches. Now, to stretch your quadriceps, what you can do in standing, you can hold on something solid like kitchen counter, and you can bend your knee and like like that and hold it for 30 seconds. So make sure you're standing straight. If you're stooping too much, you're not stretching your quadriceps. You should be straight out your back. And if you're not able to do the stretch in standing position, you can always modify the stretch in lying down. So what you can, what you're going to be doing that, go to the bed or table, lie down, go to the edge of the table, and let your one leg hang down. So the gravity going to do the effect, and you feel the pull in that quadricep area. So hold it there for 30 seconds. Make sure you're holding onto the other side of the table. You're not going to be doing suffering a fall, so so make sure you're holding it for 30 seconds, then move, pick it up, relax it, and do it again. And same thing, hold it for 30 seconds, and repeat the stretches two to three times a day. We, we, tell, these, we yeah. tell our patients to do these stretches before they sleep, and we find that uh, most of the patients, they tend to sleep longer uh, in the bed, and they get less cramps. Um, is there anything you want to add? Yep. Alright, thanks for watching.